Going in with my heat protector spray and I am just going to tame my flyaways so I can adhere the hair to my head. So I'm just using a hot comb along with that and I am just hot combing it. <laughs> you want to see the lace so yeah. So now I'm taking out the frontal section of it. So I start off with the middle, then I'm going to eat sides. Because we want the entire frontal out of the way so that we can work on the back. Now that all that's out of the way, I am just taking my brush and I'm just detangling the back. And then I'm taking some Vaseline. Too lazy to get the oil, don't judge. So I'm just running this through the hair. And then I'm gonna brush it out. And I'm gonna put all this section in a high ponytail. So I'm just brushing the hair, brushing the hair. Um, I did not care if the, if the back part of the wig was showing, cause I just didn't care. <laughs> so I'm just putting it in a high ponytail, making sure all the hair is up, and then I'm securing it with a scrunchie. Now it's in the scrunchie, I'm just gonna take my comb and I'm just going to help everything to be in one. Um, I didn't care if the hair was neat or not, um, I just wanted it like this. Now I'm combing um, that out and I'm now teasing the back part of the um, ponytail. Tease, 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 tease. And then I'm going to um, smoothen out the top part of it. And after doing that, I'm going to roll the end all the way up to the, the ponytail, the scrunchy part of it. And I secure it with bobby pins. So I'm just smoothing it out better, playing with it, making sure it's in the right shape that I would like it to be. Now it's time to work on the front section. So now I'm gonna do this in three parts. So I am just taking out the side sections. So I'll take out the both side sections, but I'm going to work on each side and then I work on the top. So I'm just teasing it like how I did the ponytail part of it. Tease, 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 and then I smoothen out the top part of it, making sure that um, it's smooth. <laughs> and then I'm gonna roll again, roll, 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 till it get to the base. And then I secure it with some bobby pins, and then I play with it a little bit to see um, how I would like it to be. So that's it, that's the, how I wanted it. And then I did the other side like that. Now it's time for the top. So I'm teasing it, teasing it, going over it again, rolling it. And then this, the top part, I wanted it to be hoist. So I am just going to play around until I get the desired um, height I want. So you can just watch and see. It's just combing and playing and lifting and this and that. <laughs> That's basically what I'm doing. Time for the makeup, so now I'm blocking out my brows. I will do a separate video. Well, a separate video is coming on how I block my brows. So I took the glue stick, did all that, and now I am putting some translucent powder on it. Now I'm taking my white paint. Um, this didn't have any name. I bought it a while ago. Um, I bought it from Fontana Pharmacy here in Jamaica. And I am, it's water activated. So I just spray some water on it, um, swirl the brush in and just apply it to my face. <laughs> That's basically what. Um, so I'm just building it up right here now and I'm putting all my eyes. So I'm building it up to get it uh, as opaque as I want it to be. And yeah, so I'm just there blending, 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 blending. 
so now taking I took that white out of this um, eye magic thing and I put it all over the face as well and I set it with translucent powder now going in with the red out of this and I'm now creating a it's not a wing it's like a curve <laughs> it's like a curve and I'm going um, I'm leaving the middle section blank so I can apply black so I went on the outer, the inner, and lined my waterline with this. Now going in with my Jamra palette and taking Corauda. And I am going to be setting where I placed the red with this eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with a black liner, black liquid liner, and I'm putting it in the middle. Yep, putting it in the middle. So now it's time for the brow. So the same red that I used to do the eyeliner part. I'm using it for my brows. So I'm just sketching out the desired shape I want for the brows. It's normally thin like that, but I went a little thicker. <laughs> Don't know why. And then I went over it with the black shadow from the same palette. And I went on the top and left the bottom. I'm not sure if you're understanding. So I didn't cover the entire red. Now taking my clean color matte red lippy and I am just um, putting on some lipstick. I didn't put it on my entire lips. I left the corners out because a geisha is normally, lips are normally smaller. So yeah. I initially started to do my neck with um, the paint. Uh, water activated paint but I <laughs> I don't know I was lazy I did not set it with the um, translucent powder I just left it and took the picture um, what had happened here was I started off with this color um, robe and then I looked and I'm like this ain't speaking geisha so I change it in the end. Oh, so this these are real orchids. I went into my mom's garden and I cut off some of our orchids. <laughs> so I'm just placing some orchids in the hair. Yeah, so I'm just placing the orchids in the hair and then I put a chopstick in the middle of um, where I put this this plant. Yeah, I put a chopstick there as well. So I have the leaves there and then I put the chopstick and then put in more orchids in the back part of the hair. So the orchid basically covered the scrunchie. So um, it didn't matter that I didn't put a, a strand there to cover it. So this is where I was telling you that I applied some more i just did it for the pictures that's basically what i did and then i changed the robe so this is the finished look guys with the green robe um i'm going to show you the hair part of it so see um it didn't matter that it was showing because i knew at the end of it um it wouldn't be showing and i secured the back with bobby pins to my hair yeah this side was messed up, but it's fine. So yeah, I changed my robe now. So this is a finished look. I prefer this robe to the other one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned to the end. And if you ever recreate it, let me know how it turned out or tag me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And follow me on my socials, which is under Formosa Fantasy. See you in the next one. Bye, beauties.